everyone so guess what today i'm going to show you about curd making everyone knows curd and everyone tasted curd right yeah we all love to eat curd and wonder how curd is made so today i'm going to show you how curd is made in the village the traditional way of making curd so as you get in my background you can see some buffaloes here so the milk is taken from these buffaloes and there are like hundreds of buffaloes in this little farm and I'll show you a little quick so what are you waiting for? let's get to the topic This and Harame is located in the deep south of Sri Lanka and it's home for a unique tradition called buffalo bread production Buffalo bread production is an age-old practice in Samharame and has been passed down through generations. Buffalo bread production requires dedication and patience, but the resulting product is highly valued delicacy. This documentary will provide an in-depth look at this practice exploring the history and culture. We'll be also visiting a buffalo farm to take the first hand look at the process and understand what makes this time on our practice so important? Maharamena. There you can see the Tissamaharame temple that was built by ancient King Kavantissa. All you guys know that Tissamaharame makes the best and most delicious curd. I came to Tissamaharame to research how this delicious curd is made. Buffaloes play a very important role in the dairy sector. Buffaloes are the major source of dairy in India and Pakistan. Traditionally, water buffaloes play a very important role as a dairy animal and also a farm animal in Asia, especially in the Indian subcontinent. There are two types of water buffaloes, swamp and river buffaloes. Swamp buffaloes are mainly used for farm animals and the river buffaloes are mostly used for dairy purposes. Most buffalo breeds you can find in India, Nepal, Pakistan are real buffaloes. Sri Lankan traditional buffalo curd is made from buffalo milk using a traditional and natural process. The buffaloes are eating fresh plants and medicinal herbal plants which have grown near the lake with no any sort of chemicals. Some buffaloes are spending their time in the water because usually river buffaloes love to the water unlike cows, so that's specialty, right? There are more than hundreds of these buffaloes in this farm which was about 10 acres, which is so good for cattle grazing. The production of the milk actually depends upon the breed and several other factors. Most buffaloes in this area produce approximately 5-10 liters per day. The milking process starts at early morning at about 5 a.m. and at about 7 a.m. the milking process ends. Then the milk is transferred to the curd making center. the curd making part. So let's go into the process. It all starts with fresh raw buffalo milk. This traditional way of making curd uses only two ingredients, buffalo milk and curd culture. 
First, the milk is heated for the standard temperatures which the traditional curd makers love. And then, the milk is boiled three times. Boil the milk and just let all the bad bacteria is kicked out and let the excess water wet out. After that, the clay pots are cleaned and kept separately in a clean, dark room. You can see that there's a very thick fat layer on the curd and the yogurt. That's because buffalo milk has more fat than cow milk. So to get that nice thick milk fat on the top, the milk is poured to the pot while boiling hot to create that bubbles on top. The air bubbles help to give that nice thick consistency of the milk fat so if it's too cold, the bubbles won't stay well. Buffalo curd is obtained by a bacterial fermentation of buffalo milk. Fermentations mean microorganisms which are added to the manufacturing process will ferment lactose into lactic acid, reducing the pH value and thereby make the milk protein coagulate. After transferring milk to the clay pots, the curd starter culture is added. It's made from few spoonfuls of previous batch of curd and it's mixed with a tiny amount of milk. After that, the curd pots let it sit for 6 hours in a clean dark room. The reason why I keep it in a clean dark room is it helps through the bacteria because bacteria loves dark. After about 6 hours, the curd is ready to serve. This curd can last up to 2 days without a fridge and it doesn't have any sort of chemicals. A well-set curd has the consistency of a cheesecake. It's firm and unshakable, just like yogurt, right? This curd serves best with coconut or keto trickle. Fun fact, ancient people also eat curd with trickle. Especially down south in Sri Lanka, people love to eat curd with red raw rice or kurakam pit to with trickle as a dessert. This curd is a real famous dessert which ran centuries ago. Even the ancient kings were with dessert was also curd. A curd man produces an average of 200 curd pots each day. There are so many farms in this region. This is a very good and traditional business of this village. This one pot of curd that contains about 1.5 litres costs around 500 Sri Lankan rupees, which means it weighs about 1 to 2 dollars. These curds are very popular in cities and they transport them every single day. As you see, cow milk is light yellowish white in color, while buffalo milk is creamy white. So that's the easiest way to recognize the milk. In buffalo milk, beta carotene pigments get converted into colorless vitamin A, which make it less yellowish than cow milk. This also takes place in cow milk as well, but in low quantity. Buffalo milk is creamier and thicker than cow milk. Therefore, it's used to make hay foods like curd. Buffalo milk is loaded with calories. It contains more calories as it's high in protein and fat. 
one cup of buffalo milk is about 250 calories while one cup of cow milk is about 150 calories which is almost twice as many calories in buffalo milk The major constitutions of the milk like fats, protein, sugars are high in buffalo milk and it's also rich in vitamins and minerals, making a great source of nutrition. Buffalo milk is sweet, creamy and also more pleasant than cow milk. Buffalo milk has higher protein content compared to cow milk. Both cow milk and buffalo milk have similar health benefits. The presence of high amount of calcium in buffalo milk can be beneficial for building healthy bones and special in conditions like osteoporosis. The presence of immunoglobulins both in cow milk and buffalo milk can be helped to boost the immune system. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video. So make sure to like, subscribe and share this video among your friends. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!